I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Hello, damage! Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Yep, that's the best I can come up with. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Gentlemen, <laughs> my name is Twigger, that of course is Lola, and we are back with another League of Legends video, and today is Monday, which means Off Meta Monday, woo -hoo! And we're playing something that I never thought that I was gonna play, but this is also the very first Off Meta Monday where, you know, we've got this, and we've got this! Pretty cool, huh? So for this day's Off Meta Monday, I, I always, with my Off Meta Mondays, have said that I try to do things that I find are viable, things that I find are good, that could be like a niche sort of pick. Um, but I've always said that I won't play AP Ash. I think that's a fair point. She only has one AP scaling item. Item. It's not an item. It's an ability. One AP scaling ability, which is the Enchanted Crystal Arrow, which is on like a hundred second cooldown at the beginning. Um, so not exactly the best thing, but I've actually been playing this a little bit because um, I did get that email that I had in the intro. And if you're willing to put that much effort into me playing something, then fine. You know, I'll give it a shot. I will give you the benefit of the doubt and I'll see how it is. I played this a few times and in each match that I played it, I had the most damage on the team. And the reason for that is your W ends up being on like a four second cooldown later on with the cooldown reduction that you I buy. Um, and you, basically you pick up a Leandri's Torment, um, you have Luden's Echo, um, and you have Scorch. And so basically your W ends up doing an insane amount of damage to basically everybody on their team. So it's pretty damn cool. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. And then you, of course, have your little burst from your ultimate if you do happen to land it. Um, but in terms of runes here, we've gone for, of course, the Meteor. Eh. Eh. Look at them slows. Uh oh, went right into it. Okay. Um, we went for the Meteor. We've got Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, and Scorch. And then in the, uh, the, pre Sorry, in the Precision Tree, we've got Presence of Mind and Coup de Gras. Um, so, the, I found that the early goings of this um, lane are not fantastic. My W doesn't do that much, but, you know, Meteor does still hurt them. Um, and we've kind of got a double off meta lane here. So, let's go over who we've got in this game. Jace up top versus our Yasuo. Kazakh's in the jungle with Predator against the Master Yi with Conqueror. And then Nico, the new champion in mid lane with the, uh, the Riven. So, definitely some interesting stuff going on. And then Syndra, Braum versus Lucian, Ash. So I'm kind of loving the fact that we've got a Syndra ADC or APC, I guess, in this bot lane. Because now we got off meta versus off meta. No, I'm not going to complain if other people want to participate in off meta Mondays. Off meta Mondays are supposed to bring people together. You know, make people feel not so bad at League of Legends. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like I might not be good at Kha'Zix, but at least I'm not as bad as full AP Ash support. But I, I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised by this one. Because at least I was in the past few games that I played. Unfortunately, in the past few games that we played, um, people just kind of raged and DC'd. And, you know, people didn't have great lanes. So it didn't make for great content. But I feel like this game's going to be better. And, oh, baby, Nico going down. First blood going over to the Riven. I cannot complain about that one. And yeah, somebody mentioned in this, uh, this game, at least in the lobby, is that there are no Dark Harvests this game. Which is kind of unreal, because Dark Harvest has kind of been like the flavor of the patch. Why did I get a second point in my queue? I, it was gray, not because I hadn't leveled it. It's gray because I didn't have enough to activate it. You're supposed to get more points in your W, right? That's supposed to be your major source of damage. So that was a bad idea on my end. So now I'm going to be a point behind. That kind of sucks. But, you know, it, mistakes happen. We're all human. Oh, God. Okay. So I'm going to try to just set this Lucian up for some CS here. He should be able to get all of these from one auto attack. There you go. And this one, good. Okay. So right now, 21 to 22. Pretty damn even. I'm going to get a ward in here just because I don't like Braum. I think that they actually have the advantage in this lane. Um, Syndra does a whirlwind of damage, especially when she hits her ultimate. Um, and the problem is Braum can block both my ultimate, which is going to be my major source of damage, and also the entirety of Lucian's ultimate, which is a big portion of his, his damage. So that shield going to be a little bit of a problem for us. But, ooh, the Massey already coming in. Oh, I don't think I can actually... Oh. Ah! Okay, they're slowed. 
Oh, that was... <laughs> oh, that was not worth it. Never mind. Okay, so we didn't get anything from that. Um, which is kind of aggravating. Fuck me. Does he have that thing warded? Yeah, you guys better run. Back off. Run away. Okay. So, you know, I'm actually going to use this just to try to see if anybody's coming. Doesn't... Oh, there we go. There's the Cat 6. Okay. So, that's actually the great thing about Ash support as well. Is having that E, you can actually really do some great work for your team trying to figure out where the enemy team jungler is. So, that lets the Riven know that the Cat 6 is currently at the Wraiths. So... Oh, sorry. The Raptors. God, they haven't been racing forever. Fuck, I'm old. Okay, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. I can appreciate that. So, the Kha'Zix might very well be heading down to his Krugs, so he might taper down bot. He might not either, but I think we gotta be a little bit... How long is that range? My goodness. So, the one problem I would say that we have um, on our team um, is that... We don't really have anything to combo onto the uh, the Yasuo for his ultimate. The only thing we have is the um, the Riven third Q. <laughs> Lola found a squeaky toy. Um, is that if she gets the third Q on multiple people, that'll activate the tornado. Oh, and a kill up in the top lane. Unfortunately, I think he's probably gonna die to that Kazakh. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's one of those. He might have to be a little bit more reliant on his own tornado proc, um, which is sort of unfortunate because he would like to have something like a Malphite or um, something that's a little bit easier to land to combo with the Yasuo, but, you know, if he's a good Yasuo, he'll... <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're getting some good damage off. Um, unfortunately, the Kha'Zix just went to the mid lane. So let's try to see if he's heading down this way. Okay, there he is. So at least we know where he is. <laughs> oh, there's some damage. Man, if the Kha'Zix wasn't coming down, I would definitely think about staying until I hit level 6, because then we could probably kill the Syndra. But... Okay, so they're going B. That's actually a good thing, so we might just want to push this lane in then. Okay, so that's pretty good. They're gonna miss a little bit of CS here, at least the Syndra is. So right now, the Lucian 46 to 43. So not feeling too bad of how this lane is currently going, but now we're gonna need some itemage. Okay, let's pick up that, some boots, a ward, and a couple pots. Feeling fly. Okay, let's wine and dine this enemy team, shall we? So when we hit our level six, we are probably gonna hit it prior to Syndra hitting it. So we might be able to go in. The cool part about having an Ash with a Lucian as well, actually, she's going to get some solo XP. She might actually hit it first. Um, is that when I land my ultimate onto somebody, Lucian can basically get a full culling out onto their face. Um, so that is really damn good to guarantee that damage. But once again, the problem is that we always face when we're facing a Braum is that all he has to do is hit E and all of our damage is null and void. Yeah. Oh, there's that damage. I'm going to get a ward over here. Sorry, I had an E over there. Ooh, Kaz is going down. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm almost six. Yes. Run. Oh, baby. Boom. That was perfect! Oh, nice job. Perfectly played by that Lucian. So getting the kill onto the Syndra gave me enough experience to get my ultimate, which I then used to kill the Braum. Oh, God, that was so good. Clean. Mwah. Mamma mia, that is a spicy ash. Okay, I'm going to come in and just check to see if they have this pink warded. They do. Okay. So this will be a nice little takedown. Perfect. Okay. Got the pink ward. Lucian got a kill. I got a kill. Couldn't complain about that if I tried. So I'm going to go back. We've already got um, some pretty solid damage coming out of us. But I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's go for this. 
So lucidity boots I find is pretty important um, strictly because we want our W to be on a really low cooldown um, because that's our main source of damage. Basically what we're trying to accomplish here is throw out our W, hit multiple targets, have the burn from Scorch, have the burn from Leandries hitting everybody with hopefully something like a Luden's Echo to also get some more AoE damage and avoid staff so they're taking quite a bit of damage. Oosh! There's the slow. Ah! There it is! Nicely done! Okay, I do not know where the Braum is. So I had to let everybody know that one. That's where they were, unfortunately. Ow. Ah! Not gonna hit him. Okay. So we got the Braum to use his ultimate. That's a pretty good thing. I will take that. Um, I don't know where the Kha'Zix is. I think he was showing mid. But here, you know what? Let's... <laughs> we both slow each other and it just looks stupid. Okay, so they did get the Infernal Dragon, which kind of sucks. Because the Infernal is just... Come on! It's like he has a heat-seeking missile on his Q. It just hits me every single time. So the cool part is that with Presence of Mind, my ultimate actually comes up pretty quick. An enemy has been slain. Okay, I do have my ultimate available. So we could definitely, we could probably dive them, couldn't we? I think we honestly could. I don't like that they were moving towards our Yi. Okay, never mind, they're back. All right, they're not going anywhere. Uh oh no, get the ultimate off okay well i got the ultimate off massey is here too come on you guys come on this is all you uh, one more there it is there it is there it is come on baby boy no why was the lucian not chasing in on that he's at full hp so we did end up getting an assist i believe on the um What's her name? Syndra. There we go. I knew we were going to get it eventually. We got an assist on the Syndra, which was okay. But I don't know why. Like, we knew that the Master Yi was coming from around here. And Lucian stood up here to get CS rather than helping the Master Yi. Because I feel like if the Master Yi was going in anyways, Lucian might have been able to pick up a kill onto the Braum. Or at least the Braum would have been scared enough when the Master Yi was on him with the Lucian coming in that they wouldn't have gone for the kill onto the Yi and he might have lived. So... I'm not a big fan of how the Lucian played that one. I think that probably would have gone a lot better if he just assisted. But we did get the ultimate off, so we did our job. Um, okay, so I think I've just got to play it back a little bit. Wouldn't mind getting these CS. A la juke. Oh, and he jukes them all. One juke to rule them all. Okay. So, I would really like my AD carry back. <laughs> We're already seeing, though. It's on, like, a six-second cooldown, my W. So, like, the damage, slowly but surely, is coming through. Ow. Okay. There you go, Lucian. There you go. Have you met my Yi? Okay, so she still has ulti, which is the one thing that terrified me. Okay. I need to make sure that this Kha'Zix didn't stay here. I don't know if the Kha'Zix stayed here. Man, they're so low. Oh, this Yi is going big. She's still got ulti though, buddy. Oh god! Oh! Ah! Got her! Woo! Uh. Got the slow! Yes! Oh god! Not good! Not good! Running! Running away! Uh. Oh god! Oh, man, it, I, I've got my ulti, though. I really, really want to kill the Braum, but I don't think I can. <laughs> oh, that sucks. 
Okay, so we did get the Syndra, which is awesome. I wasn't really expecting that one. But you know, beggars cannot be choosers. So we got that. Let's fire a nice little E over that way. Try to see what's going on. Man, if I could land an arrow onto that Nico, it would be awesome. But that's a risk, you know? It's so risky. Okay, Leandris, that's what we're going for next. Oh, we're so close. But okay, let's pick up a couple of these. Um, we still haven't put down our pink ward yet either. Oopsie. <laughs> so right now, we're sitting at 3, 1, and 2, which is pretty damn good. Um, in terms of how the other lanes are going, man, this Yasuo is kicking this Jace's teeth in. 1, 6, and 2 to the 6, 3, and 0. Um, this Infernal Drake is up, by the way. Um, Riven is beating the Nico, which is great. Um, I've got my ultimate available. Why would you, um... Why? What? That was so fucking random. Okay, so we know that the Kha'Zix is coming... Landed it! Oh, there it is! Oh, there's the Nico though! Uh, there's the slow! That's the wrong Nico. Okay. So that was actually freaking perfect. Um, we landed a really clutch arrow on the Syndra, and the Riven was just able to capitalize so well. Um, yeah. Oh, take that AP damage, boy! Look at that damage. And with presence of mind, my cooldown is actually not that long. Oh, there it is! And I've got 10 seconds on my ulti. 10 seconds on my ulti, but he's gonna get it. He's gonna take it, isn't he? He's got this. He, he does not have this. Ugh! <laughs> Oh, ye, what was that? <laughs> oh, you know, some things are just better left unseen. You know what, actually, before I go, I'm gonna put this pink ward down. Because or else I'm not gonna be able to buy my item. But we're 4, 1, and 4. So, I mean, that's feeling pretty damn great, if you ask me. Um, but let's go back here. Leandries, I believe we can... Oh, we're so close. These bastards just holding me at arm's reach. Let's actually replace this with that. So now we've got the ability to clear wards. We've got one more pot left as well. So we're feeling okay there. Ultimate's up in 19 seconds. Like, man, see, like, 925 damage from Arcane Comet is not half bad. Like, we, we've been doing pretty decent. We've done 382 damage with Scorch. Like, that's not fantastic. Oh, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. No, no, no. Run, 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 run. Juke! I mean, I've got them slowed, baby! Come on, baby boy! Damn it! <laughs> There's only so much I can do, Lucian! I need your assistance! Okay, so that kind of sucks. Like, I was really hoping that we were gonna get more out of that one, but, you know... Unfortunately, things happen. So let's go and... Ooh! Come here, Master Yi. Ash has got a gift for you. Enjoy, buddy. It's all yours. So Yasuo just kind of like left the top lane and is now dumpstering the mid lane as well. I'm loving this. He's got a thousand gold bounty. So that's the one issue though, is that with um, being so far ahead. Okay. With being so far ahead comes some great responsibility, because if he dies, he's gonna give somebody a huge chunk of change. Okay, we know where the Nico is. Man, if I could land an ulti, that would have been a nice time to go in. Uh oh Running away. Okay. Oh, Lucian is not running away! That was a really nice flash! Keep running, boy! 
Keep running! I got you! I got you! I got you covered! Really, really, really nice flash from that Lucian. Holy crap. Okay, I am technically here. There it is! Ah! I've got as many slows as I can, man! I'm slowing him for days! No! <laughs> There's only so many slows I can put on somebody. Nice! <laughs> oh, the, nothing quite like screaming like a prepubescent teenage girl. You know, it's just something just picks you up, gives you that get up and go. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. And Kaz has got like the easiest double kill of his entire life. Okay, so Luden's Echo. Oh, sorry, no, we haven't even finished the Leandries yet. We gotta pick up the Leandries. And now we're going for the Ludens. Luden's Echo. Luden! I feel like that should be like a Luda Echo, right? Like a Ludicrous Echo? You feeling me, people? You feeling me? Okay, let's see what Riven can do here. She can't get the knockup. Yasuo does not have his ultimate, though, but it doesn't even matter, man. Jace is so far behind. Okay. I got my ultimate up. I really, really want to throw it at that Nico, but that would just be a waste of an ulti, I feel like. Even though it's on a 57 second cooldown, I feel like you still have to. Look at that! 3.19 seconds! <laughs> like, that's nutty, right? Like, that's a crazy short time. Okay. So, where do we go from here? All we're going to be doing is throwing out these Ws. Making sure we slow people. Making sure that somebody dies. Not good. Not good. Even worse. Oh god. Not good. Not good. Leave Twinker alone. No! <laughs> well, Master Yi's popping off though. Why are we not helping him? <laughs> Part of me just feels like she just used her ultimate. Why didn't you use that when the Kha'Zix was like right here fighting our Master Yi and Master Yi dove in? I don't know. I think I just gave, did I give a shutdown? No, I didn't. I think I already gave a shutdown. Oh yeah, I gave it up there. <laughs> I gave it up when Kha'Zix double killed us. Um, I seriously didn't even know they had a Jace. <laughs> what the fuck is a Jace? <laughs> That's pretty funny. So Yasuo just absolutely dumpstered the Kha'Zix. That was the problem too. We kind of got into a team fight there where we didn't have our Yasuo. Um, and Yasuo is currently the fed person on our team. So that was, you know, kind of a dumb idea going for them at that moment. And I also had to burn my ultimate on the Braum. I tried to get into the Syndra, but you know, live and you learn people. You live and you learn. But we're, we're going to see though. Like, I think I've done some damage. And the thing is, like, it's not even about the damage. My kite potential is absolutely crazy. Um, all I have to do is just constantly throw out these um, arrows and these Ws. And I just slow people for days. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to put this guy right there. Even though I have already placed my pink ward, I'm going to replace it. Because I just feel like dragon control is a little bit better. We got two minutes on it. God, this takes a while. There we go. Okay. Ribbon's going ham. Uh oh. Ribbon's going a bit too ham. Yeah, so I don't want you going ham either, boy. Ugh. Oh! Hello, damage. Ah. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Um. Hello. 
Holy balls! So I got a great ultimate on that Kha'Zix. Did so much damage, and Yasuo was just able to, like, completely demolish him. And then we ended up following up on that fight perfectly. I got the exhaust under the Jace. The Yasuo did lose his GA, but I'm totally cool with just a GA going down. That was epic. Perfect couple of plays there. Um, I don't really have enough to get much of anything else. Should we just go for the Baron? Like, the Baron's up and the Dragon's spawning really soon, but I feel like with the Riven and I coming down, we could probably just go for the Baron because, like, we've got two Blade of the Ruin Kings on our Massey and our Lucian, so I feel like we shouldn't have an issue taking this thing down. Especially if we can get this Ward. I've also got... Oh, there's the GG well played. So, support Ash, baby. That is where it's at. Full AP support Ash. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's Off Meta Monday. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.